so cool. And, and I know it will do some damage, but it is really neat to see. So part of what we're watching in our first alert weather day tomorrow is really strong wind and mountain snow. So the combination of those two things means tomorrow is a first alert weather day. It's gusty already in many areas. You can see the color contours across the state. It's only going to get worse later tonight and through tomorrow. So because of that, we actually have a high wind warning through 5 o'clock tomorrow night. Almost all of the eastern side of the state, except for the Denver area and a sliver of Weld County, will be under this high wind warning throughout the day tomorrow. It even starts late tonight. Gusts up to about 60 to 75 miles an hour. Here in Denver, we may see winds up to about 45 miles an hour, so not quite to that threshold, but really awful wind that could prevent some travel along parts of I-70 and I-76 tomorrow. And then in the high country, we have a, a wind advisory for parts of western Colorado, gusts up to 50 to 60 miles an hour. And in the high country, we still expect very strong wind, and that's why we actually have some winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings, which will break down in just a minute. There's already just a little bit of snow creeping into parts of western Colorado. It's not much. It really will ramp up in the overnight hours. Front Range Eastern Plains, we're just seeing some building clouds. So we have a cold front that's working its way through tonight, and we will see that snow really build in the late night hours early tomorrow morning. By 7 a.m., that snow machine is going strong. The wind is howling, so it may be really tough, if not impossible, at times to travel along I-70, Rabbit Ears Pass, even down to parts of southwestern Colorado. And then this is pretty quickly gone. By about 435, a lot of this is wrapped up. Just some lingering light snow at this point. And then the wind should get better once the sun sets. Still a little windy out there, just not quite as bad. The Front Range Eastern Plains, we should stay dry. If we get anything at all, it would just be a couple quick sprinkles in parts of town. And then by late night tomorrow night, this is all gone in terms of the snow. Still going to be windy as we head into Saturday morning. So potential snow falls up from late night tonight through uh, Friday afternoon. Northern and central mountains may see about 5 to 10 inches of snow. Some areas a little bit more off to the west may see about 5 to 12. And then low-lying areas like Craig and Meeker and into Rangeley, about 3 to 6 inches of snow. Our southwestern uh, mountains, maybe about 3 to 6 as well. But you add in that wind, it's really tough out there for travel. So the wind component with the snow is part of the reason we have some of those advisories. It's 46 right now in Denver. We hit 63 degrees, 64, I'm sorry, today in Denver. 50s out on the eastern plains, 30s, 40s in the high country. 35 from our weather watcher, Kimberly Novich, who lives in Como. Now, temperatures tonight. Remember yesterday it was 4 in the morning. Uh, today we had 20, uh, 17 out at DIA. Tomorrow, 36, so a big difference. 20s, 30s out east, 20s in the high country. Your super 7-day forecast. We do still stay fairly warm for the eastern side of the state. We cool off a little bit more on Saturday. It's still a little breezy out there, but we'll be in the 40s and 30s for the front range of most of the plains with the 30s, 40s in the high country. And then 49 on Monday. That will bring a chance of some light snow to here uh, to Denver. Next week, temperatures will be a lot closer to our normal as we head into the kind of first week of December. Yeah. Tomorrow's going to be an adventure, though. That's yes, for sure. Yes, it is. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, CBS 4 one